energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. My Life Today, a devotional by Ellen White. February 8th, to convict me of sin. I know not how the Spirit moves, convincing men of sin, revealing Jesus through the Word, creating faith in Him. But I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that He is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. To convict me of sin. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me. John chapter 16 Verses 8 and 9. The office of the Holy Spirit is distinctly specified in the words of Christ. When he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. It is the Holy Spirit that convicts of sin. If the sinner responds to the quickening influence of the Spirit, he will be brought to repentance and aroused to the importance of obeying the divine requirements. As Saul yielded himself fully to the convicting power of the Holy Spirit, he saw the mistakes of his life and recognized the far-reaching claims of the law of God. He who had been a proud Pharisee, confident that he was justified by his good works, now bowed before God with the humility and simplicity of a little child, confessing his own unworthiness and pleading the merits of a crucified and risen Savior. Saul longed to come into full harmony and communion with the Father and the Son, And in the intensity of his desire for pardon and acceptance, he offered up fervent supplications to the throne of grace. The prayers of the penitent Pharisee were not in vain. The inmost thoughts and emotions of his heart were transformed by divine grace, and his nobler faculties were brought into harmony with the eternal purposes of God. Christ and his righteousness became to Saul more than the whole world. The conversion of Saul is a striking evidence of the miraculous power of the Holy Spirit to convict men of sin. It is through the mighty agency of the Holy Spirit that the government of Satan is to be subdued and subjected. It is the Holy Spirit that convinces of sin and expels it from the soul by the consent of the human agent. Through the merits of Christ, man may be able to exercise the noblest powers of his being and expel sin from his soul. My Life Today, February 8th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.